welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today we are going to be doing a spinning tutorial, specifically the stork spin. Now the stork spin is a great beginner one foot spin. So if you've already learned that one foot spin and you want to step it up doing something a little fancier, the stork spin is great. Now you will need that strong one foot spin. So I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description down below so you can brush up on those skills if you need to. But if you can already do a strong one foot spin, we can get started with this one. Now the first thing we're actually going to do is some stretching. You need some really open sides of your hips, all right? So we're going to go over to the wall and do a couple little stretches. So here on the wall, we're going to work on stretching those outer hips. Now I have a couple of stretching tutorials that are done away from the rink. So you can work on that same area, stretching that same area. And I'll put a couple of those stretching tutorial links down below as well. But if you're already at the rink and you want to practice this, you need to get a little stretching in, this is what you can do. So I'm going to put my foot, my, my right foot up on the wall. Now being um, a counterclockwise spinner, it's going to be my right foot that's up in the air. But, you know, if you are a, counter, a clockwise spinner, you're definitely going to want to start with the other foot. But anytime you do stretching, I really encourage you to do both sides. We want to make sure we are evenly stretched on both sides so we don't end up with imbalances in our body. So I've started by putting my right foot up here on the wall and I am actually facing it. So normally if you're stretching spirals, you're going to be facing the wall. So you, your leg is out at an angle in front of you. For today, I'm actually going to turn and face my foot. So my hips are square with my foot. Right now, this is stretching behind my knee on that hamstring. So it's not really targeting the area I want to stretch out. So what I'm going to do is start pulling my foot, bending my knee and pulling that foot in towards my body. Now, depending on how flexible you are, you might be done with this stretch with it still quite a distance. But if you already have somewhat open hips and you want to get a really deep stretch, you're going to pull that foot in as close as you can to your torso. And that way you get that really good stretch through the outer part of the hip. I'm just going to hold it there for a little bit and let that hip open up. Now, as I said, we need to be balanced with our stretching so we don't have imbalances in our body. And then we don't, it's, we don't want to pull muscles. We don't have, want to have things like that happen. So always stretch both sides. All right, so I'm just going to do, repeat this on my left leg. So I've got my hips facing my foot. And I'm going to pull that foot, that heel in towards my torso until I feel a really good stretch through the outside of the hip. Now the position of this foot, how far out it's going to be, is going to be different for everybody, just depending on your level of flexibility. For me, I already have really open hips, so I've got to pull that foot in pretty far to get a good stretch on it. But just do this at whatever level you can. Now that we have those hips stretched out, we're ready to get started with this spin. So we're going to start with a traditional one foot spin, a nice wind up. I'm going to step in on my left foot going counterclockwise. And the first goal is to reach that leg up and touch your hand to your knee. All right, so that's, it's pretty simple. Make contact from hand to knee. Now when you do this, you want to really work to keep your torso up straight and not bend in those hips and reach down for your knee. When you reach down, it throws your whole balance off and you're not going to be able to spin as long. You're going to get off that center really easily. So as you step in, keep that torso engaged nice and tall and just reach for that knee in that spin. So we wind up, step in, reach for the knee and check out. Now, once you've achieved that first goal of making contact with your knee and holding that spin, we're going to move on to the second goal. So we're going to wind up, I'm going to step in, make contact with the knee, and then you're going to take both hands and walk your hands down until you can hold on to your ankle. All right. So we're going to do that gliding towards you. So you're going to make contact with your knee and then get both hands on there and walk them down your leg until you can hold your ankle, all right? So your foot is gonna be right up there in the bend of your hip. You're gonna hold it there for the spin. Now this is a little bit of a challenge to do when you're first trying it in a spin. So I recommend you try it in a one foot glide as well if you're struggling. So make contact with that knee, 
Walk those hands down until you can hold your ankle right up there at the hip bone. You can practice that doing a one foot glide a few times and once that gets easier, you can try it again in your spin. So as with position one where you're touching your knee, you again don't want to lean down to try to get to this. It's going to throw your whole axis off. So really, again, try to keep that torso up nice and tall. Tall body, contact with the knee, and then use both hands to walk down until you get to your ankle, and then you can check out. If you can do that, we're ready for version three. So version three, we're gonna cut out, starting with tagging the knee. We're gonna try to go straight for the ankle, all right? Again, do your very best to keep your torso up nice and tall. The faster you get with the spin, this is hard, the harder it's gonna be. You're gonna start reaching out for it, but really try to keep your core engaged, your back up nice and tall while you do this. So we're gonna wind up, Step in and try to go straight for the ankle. So bring that foot up really high and then grab that ankle. To do this without bending over really far, you have to do most of the work in your free leg. Your free leg has to lift and then you just grab it the little extra last bit. Okay, so try that from a one foot glide again. So you're gonna lift your leg really high, as high as you possibly can and then grab the ankle and pull it in. If you don't lift it very high, you're gonna have to bend down to get that foot and that's where your spin starts getting off. Okay, let's try this from a wind up. Wind up, you're gonna step in, lift that leg as high as you can and then go straight for the ankle. Check out. All right, now you have your basic stork spin. You can work on improving that you know, lifting your leg really high, more flexibility in the hips, all of that kind of thing, keeping your center, all the things we need with a good one foot spin. But once you have that stork spin down, we can get a little fancy with our arms. So I'm gonna show you that next. So you have two different basic arm positions with this stork spin. So you've gotten your, your ankle. You can either lift that right hand up or you can go for the left hand. Both of them work. They both give you different looks in this spin. Both of them are really cool and you can kind of play around with the arm positions to really interpret your music differently. Um, both of them, you have to really be careful about making sure you're pushing that left side back into the spin. So if your right hand comes up and you lose the tension on that left side, that left side pushing into the spin, your spin's gonna end up really short. You're gonna lose the power, all right? So make sure when that hand's up and you're holding your ankle, your shoulder is still pushing back into the spin with your left side. The same thing applies on the other hand. So you're grabbing with your right hand and your left hand comes up, you want to push back into the spin with that left shoulder to keep your power going. All right, let's try that with our wind up. Wind up, nice strong left side, bring that ankle high as you can, grab it, and I'm going to start with that right hand back and check out. All right, now let's try it with the left hand. Same thing, just different hand. Wind up, Nice strong left side. Bring that foot way up. And I'm gonna go, ta-da! So much fun. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is such a fun spin that I expect to see you practicing this on Instagram and make sure you tag me at Skating Coach Julia so I can see all your videos and cheer on your progress. If you enjoyed this, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in this section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating and I'll see you next time.